Hi friends, in this video we will talk about the sum of first n terms of an AP. Say we are supposed to find the sum of first 100 natural numbers that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 100. How do we go about that? Now let us first assume that capital S is equal to the required sum that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 100. Now we can also write S as 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus up to 1. Now if you add up these two, what do you get? We get 2s here is equal to 1 plus 100 is 101. Same as 99 plus 2, 101. 98 plus 3 is also 101. And you'll get 101 till the end. Now if you closely observe, you will get 101 a hundred times because there were hundred natural numbers that were being added. So we have 2s equals hundred times of 101 and hence s would be equal to 100 into 101 upon 2 or 5050. Now you can apply this technique to find the sum of the first n terms of any AP. Let's first write the given AP in the general form. That means let the AP be A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on up to the nth term which is A plus n minus 1 into D. Now we are supposed to find the sum of all these n terms. Now the sum up to n terms Sn would be equal to A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D plus so on up to A plus n minus 1 times D. When you write it in reverse order Sn would be equal to a plus n minus 1 into d plus a plus n minus 2 into d plus a plus n minus 3 into d and so on up to a. Now again Adding both these expressions, we get 2 times Sn is equal to a plus a plus n minus 1d is 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This would be the summation of these first terms. When you add these up, you would have a plus d plus a plus n minus 2 times d. This will give you 2a plus d common n minus 2 plus 1 or 2a plus n minus 1 times d. This is same as the term here. If you add the others up as well, you will get the same term that is 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now again, we know that these were n terms. So you will get 2a plus n minus 1 into d how many times? n times. Hence, 2 sn can be written as n multiplied by 2a 
plus n minus 1 times d the sum of the first n terms of any a b would be n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d now this is also the relationship that you use for finding the sum of the first n terms of any a b where n is the number of terms a is the first term and d is the common difference we can also see that 2a plus n minus 1 into d can be written as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d or a plus a n that is the nth term so if you know the nth term and you know the first term you can directly use this formula to find the sum of the first n terms and sometimes a n is nothing but the last term and then the formula becomes n by 2 a plus l where l is the last term we will be using these relationships for some example problems now I'll give you a useful tip the nth term of an AP a n can be found by subtracting the sum of n minus 1 terms from sum of n terms now what this basically means is say your AP was 1 3 5 7 and 9 and 9 is the nth term or the fifth term if you know the sum up to 5 terms and you also know the sum up to 5 minus 1 4 terms the sum of 5 terms minus sum of 4 terms would give you nothing but 9 this can be used in certain situations now moving on now let me take you back to session 2 where we spoke about an example of Mrs. Sharma where Mrs. Sharma deposited 8000 rupees every year for charity and she increased this amount by 500 every year that implied that 500 was nothing but the common difference and 8000 was the first term of this series now if we are supposed to find out how much money would she have deposited overall by the end of 15th year how would you do that now it's simple since we know the sum of any ap s n up to n terms is n by 2 a plus a n that is n by 2 a plus a plus n minus 1 into d for this example a is known as 8000 d is 500 and n would be 15 hence the sum of amount that she would have deposited till now would be 15 by 2 2a would be 2 into 8000 plus 15 minus 1 14 into 500 this gives us 15 by 2 to 16,000 plus 7,000 or 15 by 2 multiplied by 23,000 which is equal to 17 two five double zero or one lakh seventy two thousand and five hundred now this is the amount of charity mrs sharma would have done by the end of 15th year let's take another example if we are to add the first 10 natural numbers we would have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to n 
Now what would be this sum? This would be nothing but Sn would be equal to n by 2 into the first term that is 1 plus the last term that is n. Hence this becomes n plus 1 into n by 2. Now this is another relationship that you might want to remember. The sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. In the next video we will look at a few examples. Bye.